friends welcome back to another vlog in the journey began with eva youtube series today is easter monday i hope you had an awesome easter holiday mine was good too we are grateful he is risen giving us a testimony of hope and courage somebody say amen <laughs> this is one of those days i have a cap on because it is a bad hair day we are going to the salon because tomorrow is tuesday which means that it's a working day the easter holiday is gone so we have to continue with our normal daily lives i am planning to take you guys along with me so this is going to be just like a random day with me a day in my life sort of vlog so stick with me please if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you would love to see awesome content from ukampani those of you who don't know where ukampani is ukampani is found in the eastern part of kenya that's where i currently reside so if you'd love to see the other side of ukampani which you don't normally see on tv which they don't normally show you this is where you need to be so ensure that you've subscribed and keep your notification button buttons on so that you can always get notified by youtube whenever i upload a new video or a vlog <laughs> about me is i'll always shop my braids at the best lady beauty store in machakos town so for those of you who live in machakos town and its environs this store is definitely a must visit because they have variety at a good price so whether you need to purchase in bulk or you just need a few items for your use then definitely the best lady beauty store is a must visit you know i recommend what i like this video is not sponsored but anything which i like anything which i think is worth sharing i will always do it for my subscribers because in here we share we motivate we encourage we support and build each other hi people finally i managed to do my hair i plated these big huge box braids so this is going to be my hairstyle for the next like two weeks yeah because as i told you guys it is the rainy season and i can't afford to keep open hair i was wondering how i'm gonna dispose this uh, paperwork i'm about to show you guys then somehow an idea came to my mind so stick around let me show you what i'm about to do this is a situation what i did i decided to soak the papers i cut them into small pieces then I, I threw them in a basin this basin right here and i put some water so i'm waiting for the papers to soften then i will fold them to like little little balls i just squeeze them to like little balls when they are totally wet soaked up so what i'm going to do this is what i'm gonna do guys let me show you an example i'm just going like to fold them like this then i will put them in a garbage bag then uh, they'll be ready and safe for disposal you can borrow this idea if you reside somewhere where disposing some uh, paperwork might be a challenge this one here might be an option you just cut your papers into small pieces suck them in water let them soften soften give them some time to soften then later on you just squeeze them into these uh, small round balls then now when you go and dispose them in the garbage bin who will bother who will bother like checking something like this i am done hello guys i know i know 
a day in my life has turned out to be several days in my life but content is content regardless so today on my way home i passed by the market and i noticed that veggies are in plenty guys this is the season to enjoy veggies because like a month ago veggies were really costly they were selling really small portions at uh, exaggerated prices so yes i'm already home from work and uh, it is time to fix something for supper uh, you see what I'm talking about? Fresh, I'm telling you guys. Look how fresh they are. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is the season to enjoy veggies, guys. So, this is it. I'm about to prepare ugali, which is Kenya's type of food, and uh, some greens. So let's get to business. We need to fix something before it's too late. Fun. Like all these greens. Let me lift the bank and show you people. I always keep telling you guys that one way of saving money when you're budgeting for food stuffs. If you can get time, please spare some time and go to the local market. You'll get bigger portions at a good price. So I got all this. Oh, oh. I got all this at 50 Kenya shillings. And now my food is ready it is time to dig in thank you guys for watching see you in my next one bye